If I traded it all, if I gave it all away for one thing. Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> this day, today, is a day of all the returnees, not newbies, but new returnees. Uh, my next guest has been on the show with me before, and I have to. I have with me Dr. K. Wing. Wing? Yes. Yeah. I want to make sure I'm saying it right. And you're the owner of Swan Rehab. Welcome back to the show. Thank you very much. Doctor, please tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do. I'm a physical therapist, and I'm the owner of Swan Rehab. Swan Rehab specializes in the treatment of people with neurological disorders. We're an outpatient facility, so neurological disorders would be things like stroke, traumatic brain injury, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, and a host of other neurological diseases. Okay. Now, there are some things today that you wanted to talk about. I did. Okay. And I want to do get that out with you now. Um, so, you specialize then in, obviously, people who have had some sort of trauma to, to their, their brain? brain. Okay. To their brain. Correct. Okay. Now, you're located where? 1190 East Missouri. It's on the corner of 12th Street in Missouri. Okay. Your website is swanrehab.com. Their phone number is area code 602-393-0520. So tell us, you also had today something that you said you're doing as a giveaway, and I want to get that out right away because it's very interesting. What is it? Well, we are going to be giving the giveaway of testing people's walking speed and that is what we're going to be talking about today is why that's important why is that important well walking speed <clears throat> tells us and you how functional you are in the home and the community and there are cutoff points that tell us if you're in danger of disease as a matter of fact disease or other medical problems as a matter of fact walking speed sometimes can predict a disease before the disease happens. That's amazing. So, you're giving away for everybody to get, as it entered into win, or how do you want to do the walking, f and you want to tell everybody what it is. It's a free walking speed test. Correct. <clears throat> what is it? It's very simple. It takes 10 to 15 minutes, and what we do is we just have you come in, we have you walk on a uh, place, on the floor that has... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> and we time you, and we see how fast you walk. And then we can put, we can tell you from how fast you walk what your risk is. Okay, so I had told you before we came on, I'm going to mm -hmm. use me in this example because I'm a perfect example. <laughs> I said to you, I walk slow, <clears throat> right? Correct. <clears throat> and I said to you that I, I always thought that it was because of my legs. And you said... Not necessarily. Hmm. And why is that? Because it doesn't <laughs> matter if you've got short legs or long legs. It's your walking speed, not how fast your long your legs, not how long your legs are, that gives us the information. So people with short legs can walk just as fast. Well, not maybe just as fast as somebody who's six foot five. However, there is a range of normal walking speed, and if you're walking in this range. You're fine. So what is the range that's fine typically? Can you give them an idea? Because I can. <clears throat> there's a lot of people out there that walk slow and would be worried about that. <clears throat> you don't want to be walking any slower than 0.8 meters per second. Now, in uh, for Americans, meters per second doesn't mean anything. Thanks. That is right around 2.0 miles per hour. Okay. So if you go to the gym and you're walking on a treadmill at 2.0 miles per hour, you are not feeling that you're walking very fast if you're trying to work out or if you're an athlete. But if you've had a stroke or have some other neurological disorder, this might be like running a marathon. Sure. We really want you to be right around three miles per hour to really be functional in the community. That's your safest and most functional speed. Okay. So now you're going to be giving away a free walking test right? Correct. You're going to give that to everyone? How does that work? All they have to do is call our number, 602-393-0520, and ask for Ashton. Okay, here's what I'm going to do, if it's okay with you, because they like to call in and get connected with me, uh -huh. and then I'll go ahead and give those numbers to you, so you can connect them together. Okay. Okay? So our number here <clears throat> is 
two seven seven five three six nine and toll free it's one eight six six five three six eleven hundred. You're getting a free walking speed test. It only takes ten minutes, mm-hmm. and you're going to find out how healthy you are by your walking. Correct. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, do you have all of this information also on your website and everything? Or will it be? Not necessarily the walking speed test. I mean, the walking speed information, but we can put the free screen okay. on the website. And also the other question that I have, do you do consultations or someone that's listening to this? Do you do any kind of a consultation with people if they call, they have questions or anything like that? Yes, we will do that. And we love to do tours of our facility. If someone in your family has had a stroke or a brain injury or some other neurological disease and they just are looking for an outpatient facility, all they need to do is call us and say they'd like to come and, and look. And I want to clarify so I understand too. The person that's getting this speed test, would they need to have possibly have that issue? No. Okay. Just wanted, that's why I asked that. Mm-hmm. So good. So everybody, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter whether or not you've had a brain trauma or anything like that, it would be, this would also be for you. Um, our number here is 602-277-5369 and toll free it's 1-866-536-1100. Let's talk a little bit more about the test, okay? Um, <clears throat> first of all, before anything, when you did, you did tell me that when I, if I was walking slow, it might say something that would be not so great for me. About how long you live. Right. Correct. Uh, actually, there have been some excellent studies. Walking speed is one of the most studied things out there. Wow. And uh, there's a compilation of tests. They took 30,000. It's an N of 30,000 or 30,000 participants, which is a lot in a, in a research study. And luckily, at the beginning of the study, all 100% of them were alive. And then what they did is they kept track of these people over the years. They took a point in these years, and it was 3,000 days. 3,000 days is eight years, eight and a half years. And they looked at people's walking speed and their, and their percentage or their what percent were going to die within that eight and a half years. And so what they found is people who stayed in the normal walking speed above two, 2.0 miles per hour, at the end of that eight and a half years, 80, let me look at here, it's okay. 90 to 95 percent were still alive. Of course, it's not a total predictor because, you know, people are going to get in accidents sure. and, and things like that. Uh, people who walked in the not quite up to the normal walking speed, but in, we call it the danger zone, the yellow zone, like in red, yellow, and green of a stoplight. We call this the yellow zone. It is, uh, at eight and a half years, 70 to 82% of those people were still alive. And the people who were down into the red zone or the danger zone, which what, uh, that is below like one mile per hour. Let me ask you something. Let's say somebody's really interested in getting this, mm-hmm. okay, because it's, it's extremely fascinating, okay? Mm-hmm. It's a walking test. Everybody's getting, uh, getting one. You don't have to be... Uh, somebody who has had a brain injury to get one of these. Um, once you have found out that they are a candidate of maybe not in good health or, or, or that that could happen to them, I don't want to say the words die because it's awful to think about that, but what would the next step be with you? Well, it might not even be with us. It might just be, oh, man, I am kind of in a little bit of a danger zone here. I better get out on the street so that's and start the walking. Okay, so how do you do that? You just have to get out there and start mm-hmm. walking and make yourself learn how to walk faster. Correct. You want to kind of push speed, or it's now time to quit talking about going to the gym and go to the gym. It's get out there with your husband or your daughter or your dog and just take a daily walk and Think about walking faster as you're taking that daily walk. Well, it's a new year. It's a new you. She is offering a free walking speed test. You can check them out on their website. It is swanrehab.com. Their phone number, you can call them at 602-393-0520. And call here and get that. That's 602-277-5369. We're going to be back in just a minute. Hang on tight. I can't wait to learn more. 
If I traded it all, if I gave it So welcome back. We are talking with Dr. Kate Wing, and she is the owner of Swan Rehab. And we've been talking a little bit about getting a free walking speed test and why that's so important. And yes, uh, if you're not walking fast enough, she's saying, get out there, go walk more. It's telling you to do that because your life could be at risk. Really, you don't even know. Correct. Right. Mm-hmm. And we are offering this to everyone out there. So our number here is 602-277-5369 and toll free. It's 1-866-536-1100. It is not, you don't have to be, have any kind of brain injury or anything like that. This is for everyone out there. You can check them out at swanrehab.com. They'll also talk to you a little bit about, um, you know, this whole, all this there and, and their facilities. They have a great facility. They want to put you on a tour with it. They love to give tours. Their number is 602-393-0520. So how does one know how to walk, you know, if they're walking fast enough? How does that work? Well, <clears throat> well if, if you're walking as fast as the crowd in the mall, you're fine. You're walking fast enough. If you're able to walk and talk with your friends as they're walking down the street or down the hallway, you're fine. It's when you find you're starting to have to catch up with people or it's hard to keep up with people, then you're thinking, maybe I need to do to. Wow, I think need to get this. out and walk, doctor. I find yeah. myself always having to do that. There you go. Yeah. Walking speed is literally <clears throat> almost the perfect measure. And this, uh, a guy by the name of Wade said this in 1962. So it's not a secret the walking speed is important. It is reliable, it's valid, it's sensitive, it's specific, and it, re- it correlates with things like functional ability, safety in the home, safety in the community. Um, I was going to say something else, but I forgot. It's okay. I'll talk for you. Okay. So <clears throat> we have our lines open here for everybody to get a free walking speed test by them. And it takes 10 minutes, and it's easy to do. You're just going to walk, and they're going to show you how fast you're walking and where you, where you are, what it could mean, and ha- make you get out there so you can learn how to walk faster and get on with your life. How's that? That is correct. And the reason walking speed declines is just it can be as something as simple as you have a the flu or some sort of health issue you know if you're having the flu you're not feeling well you've got a bad cold you just don't walk as fast but it can be an indication of something more serious if you're if it is declining if it is it, it might be some disease process that's happening it might be um something else it's good information it's excellent information actually the physical therapy association would like to see it become the sixth vital sign, as important as a vital sign as blood pressure, as heart rate, as respiratory rate, as temperature. And there are actually some physicians now that are starting to measure walking speed in their offices like they measure blood pressure. Again, she is offering this to everyone out there. You don't have to have any type of uh, brain trauma whatsoever. Uh, our number here is 602-277-5369 and toll free it's one 866 536 Eleven hundred. Um, you also have some some exciting things that are that are going on at the facility that you want to talk about too. So go ahead. We are raising money for a very expensive piece of equipment that will help people walk. And it what it is, it's on a track that goes onto the ceiling, and uh, the person is put in a harness. It's all computerized so the person can walk. If they fall. They will be caught. It can all be uh, programmed to they can fall one inch or they can fall almost to the floor. It is an amazing piece of equipment, and we are trying to raise the funds to buy it. It's called what? Please say it for me because I don't know how to say it. It is called the Vector. Okay. Oh, now you're calling it just the Vector. The Bionest Vector, but we call it the Vector. Perfect. That's the best way to do that for me. So, (laughs) So it's called the Vector, and you are the only ones, from what I understand... That it has it here. Go ahead. Well, we don't have it here yet. Well, you're working on it. We are working on it. We want to um, have it here, and we will be the only ones in the Valley. So you're fundraising. We are. Go ahead. We have a GoFundMe account, and we would love if someone would go to the GoFundMe account and help uh, the people in the Valley who need this type of a system to be able to 
have it somewhere in the fifth largest city in the United <clears throat> States. So it's GoFundMe forward slash Swan Rehab. And um, tell them the kind of person and what it will do for them. So, you know, because you do specialize in that uh, someone, that special someone. Go ahead. We do specialize in these special someones who have had stroke or brain injury or having a difficult time walking. And those are the people in our facility that it will benefit. So we can bring them in as part of the therapy. We can hook them up. They're safe. We can really push them as, as far as their speed, their motor control, and they can feel safe and they if they fall they they can't right. they won't but what does it do what does it help them when you say does it they, they walk they learn to walk on it are they doing anything else are they exercising sort of on it so that they're you know what i mean yes we can do <laughs> exercises on it we can work on things that we work on things like uh, step a, length and work on an obstacle course for instance stepping up and down curbs doing the things that you just need to be safe to do in the community, walking backwards, walking sideways. These are all important. So this is for somebody that is uh, obviously has had a stroke or some kind of brain trauma. And um, your typical client are both young and old? Young and old, our average age is 39. So, so that's average. And they really want to get this particular machine. They call it the Vector. They will be the only ones in Arizona that has it. And it is for something good. And we were just talking about how wonderful it is to donate because you get a great deduction, too, when you do those kinds of things. Uh, so go check them out at GoFundMe. You can go there at forward slash Swan Rehab. Correct. So what else is going on over there when you have, uh, you know, the other thing that I want to talk about, it's right here in front of me that I was excited to say I have congratulations and kudos for you because you were on the front page of the Arizona Republic regarding this fundraiser. Go ahead. We were. The, the, the newspaper came out because they think it's important that someone has this in the, in the community also. And they came out and they uh, filmed and took pictures of... Corey Remsburg, who is the soldier who was with the president during one of his State of the Union addresses. And he came out and he used the vector and he really helped us out in starting our GoFundMe account. What's nice about GoFundMe is that you can put do as little or as much. Anything will help. And this is a wonderful, wonderful donation to help other people who have really, you take things for granted. Like you just said, stepping up on a sidewalk, you know. I, for me, it's hard too, but mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's really, honestly, honestly, we don't think about those people out there that have had a stroke that can't do it. Exactly. So and the, okay. this is very costly. And when we were on the front page, and we also had a beautiful little um, video uh, clip that you could go to from the front page of the Arizona Republic, and just from that, we raised about $20,000 towards our vector. Oh, awesome. We need to raise a lot more. But every $5, $2, $20 donation It adds helps. up. It adds up. So, again, it's GoFundMe forward slash Swan Rehab. And you can also call them. You can talk to them a little bit. Maybe you have someone there out there that is a loved one or someone that you know that has been in a, a stroke or a brain injury. They do free consultations. They'll talk to you. They want you to come out and visit their facility. They love to give tours. Their phone number is 602-393-0520. It's swanrehab.com. And don't forget, check them out at GoFundMe, uh, sorry, GoFundMe forward slash Swan Rehab. Also, I'm going to let you call throughout the rest of the show and get yourself a free walking speed test. It's very important for everybody to do. And <clears throat> we're going to let you call the rest of the rest of the show for that. And it's does, you don't have to have a brain injury for that. Our number here is 602-277-5369. What are your final words for today? Thank you for having me on the show. Come and visit us. 
go to our GoFundMe account. We would really appreciate it. They really would. And there's some people out there that also would really appreciate it. There's people out there with brain injuries that are stroke victims, people that can't do those things that you do take for granted every single day. So check them out at GoFundMe forward slash Swan Rehab. It doesn't matter if it's a dollar or ten dollars. They want to get this. They'll be the only ones in Arizona. When was it that uh, that that this um, uh, Re- Arizona Republic came out? Because people can check I, that out. I, it was in December. I can't remember the date. You can also look that up on Google too, guys. So and get out and walk. It's going to be important for everybody to do. We've got you everybody getting the free walking speed test from them. You can call here at six zero two two seven seven five three six nine or go to Swan Rehab dot com and check them out at. GoFundMe forward slash Swan Rehab.